CPSR strongly believes that the proposed regulation for NOx emissions inadequately respond to the needs of the public whose health is at stake. Despite the department's pledge, the proposed regulations are not equal to or stronger than the regulations that MDE adopted and submitted for publication in the Maryland Register on January 16th. Those existing NOx regulations are the product of 15 months of consultation with many stakeholders, including the public health community and power plant owners themselves. They were agreed upon in order to achieve feasible and healthiest possible levels of NOx reduction by 2020. We'd like to reiterate the critical public health reasons for publishing and implementing those existing NOx regulations. First, NOx regulations from coal-fired EGUs make up a large percentage of Maryland's ozone season NOx emissions, and those emissions are major contributors to extremely harmful forms of air pollution, specifically fine particulate matter, nitrogen dioxide, and ground-level ozone. As many have noted, NOx and ozone are potent triggers of asthma attacks, and there's strong and increasing evidence that NOx is one factor in the development of pediatric asthma. The high levels of NOx and ozone to which many residents of Maryland are exposed correlate with the fact that child asthma rates in Maryland, and especially in Baltimore City, are substantially higher than the national average. Recurrent NOx exposure also damages the lungs of healthy children and adults. We also know that NOx-derived ozone adversely affects the cardiorespiratory status of healthy children and adults exercising or working outdoors during times of high pollution. And we know that the most medically vulnerable populations, that is young children, older adults, persons with chronic disease, and the poor, are also those most affected by NOx pollution. Finally, the failure of power companies to invest in modern selective catalytic reduction technology simply shifts the financial burden of NOx-related health effects to patients and to taxpayers. These urgent health concerns demand regulations that achieve the greatest possible reduction of NOx emissions from every coal-fired EGU. Doing so requires that every coal-fired EGU in Maryland, unless converted to natural gas or taken out of service, must install and use the SCR technology that is state-of-the-art. Therefore, CPSR urges MDE to address the tremendous public health cost of NOx pollution by publishing and implementing the existing NOx regulations of January which have been fully vetted, reviewed, and adopted. Thank you.